before this video start i wanna say thanks to hafsi and he make me a uh, intro that is gonna you guys gonna see it and good shout out to him so go check out his channel link in the description he's a really nice guy and he actually really nice graphic designer as well and uh, even contest of rahul as well so this is video is going to be really long so let's get into the video what is up guys it was me manik back here with another video and in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can make an amazing original thumbnail style for your own self okay so this is not an all normal thumbnail video this is the best video that you're gonna see and you're gonna get really nice idea by that okay so what you have to do and wait, uh, wait for before we just start wait, 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 wait. before we just start it the thing is a lot of people has been asking me why you're not gonna show your own uh, thumbnail style and i have a big reason for that and um, also i post a, a poll in last video and a lot of people uh, just say you should make a thumbnail tutorial so here it is this is the thumbnail tutorial and uh, yeah so the thing is uh, did you see anyone who uses a Sinus thumbnail and get like about uh, 100k views on their videos and uh, no I don't think so because I myself tried this my first Android video was actually very shit and uh, I follow the same uh, thumbnail style and uh, I get like 6k views but why I put the same effort and same thumbnail why I get 6k views because the reason the reason of that is in the comment section or when i read the comment section below there was a 60 percent of people who are saying this is a sinus copy of thumbnail so you just have to take this in mind if you're copying someone's style you're not gonna get success you're not gonna get views that they are getting because they are original no one wants to get duplicate okay so the thing is um like if there was these seven people what would you choose the one who is different so that's what you have to do everyone click on the different thumbnail video if you have different thumbnail among all the video on that uh, topic the people is gonna click on your video that is attractive so that's what you have to do and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you guys can do that and yes you're gonna be like after like sometime you're gonna say yes this actually works so the thing is I'm gonna give you this thumbnail and i'm gonna give this in psdx file and actually all the images that i use i'm gonna give a link in the description okay what you have to do is for in you have to make 10 videos with this thumbnail yes you have to make it 10 videos with the same thumbnail not the same thumbnail you have to follow those two steps one step is you have to use this thumbnail in 10 videos and second step is you have to change one thing in every video like in that thumbnail like you take you change font in next video in third video you just uh, add something and take anything in fourth video you change color and in fifth video you actually change background in seventh video you do something like else and after 10 video trust me someone is going to comment that your thumbnails are original and really really nice why because no one have that combination that you built in 10 videos you change something you add something you change something you add something you take something you add something in every video and after 10 you just got settled yourself you got something that no one ever can get because no one have know the combination that you are using after 10 videos so after 10 video you're gonna have your own original style that no one in this world can have and that is a really nice thing you have to try that that's what i do and um, i actually get really really fastly that in two to three videos i got my own style so that's what you have to do in some time you're gonna get your own style that no one ever can copy because no one have that images that you use so i hope this helps you so now i'm gonna show you how to actually make that uh, first thumbnail and after that you can change anything if you want and you have to like if you want your own original style you have to this is a 10 day challenge if you complete it and after 11th video trust me you gonna be getting your own original style and yeah let's get into the video but before we get into the video make sure to like this video because this is kind of like a special video for me and known for like thumbnails i guess because a lot of people praise my thumbnails and thank you for you thank you every and each one who have like like my thumbnails because i put really really effort on my thumbnail that's what you have to do to get views so yeah let's get into the video so guys to make a thumbnail 
what you have to do is first of all you have to get it text like i do and uh, i'm in pixel lab link in the description so you guys can download this app from play store so after that whatever you have to write in thumbnail you have to write that and uh, i'm gonna write thumbnail tutorial and create a minute tutorial so after that when you're done with this you have to click on done button right up there and uh, after that you're gonna get something like that and after that what you have to do is you just have to go into a font section and uh, there will be you find a font and the font that i'm gonna using is gotham um, font and uh, for my thumbnail i'm gonna use gotham and if you want to use any other one you can use it i'm gonna use gotham ultra and uh, you have to make a thumbnail like first line of your uh, thumbnail uh, gotham ultra and um, after that what you have to do is i'm gonna just cut this thing up now and hit them and okay so now thumbnail is in gotham ultra now we're gonna write a tutorial right up here and um, we're gonna writing a tutorial tutorial boom so now this thing is going to be in uh, gotham black or bold so all the fonts i'm gonna use link in the description so for this i'm gonna use gotham black and if you have third line as well third word as well you can select gotham bold and after that gotham light and all that stuff you can make a smaller and smaller of your font smaller and smaller so it was looking nice after that when you're done with this you just have to make a texture uh, transparent and after that we're done as you guys can see after that you have to save that and then make sure you save it in png and save it in ultra or best quality that you can after that get into a photoshop touch so i'm in photoshop touch now what you have to do to make thumbnail is you have to select with 1 2 8 0 and 7 20 after that what you have to do is you have to select black color as you guys can see make get an image um, probably the text that we have to make in pixel lab so after that make it a bit bigger and set it right somewhere in the middle where we want to set it and click on ok button and tick it and now you get your text in so after that what you have to do is you just have to get a uh, magic wand tool and uh, make sure you get this show pointer as well and after that make sure you get this plus mode as well and you have to select first word like i'm gonna select a thumbnail uh, with all all the letters of thumbnail um, as you guys can see so i have selected all the letters of thumbnail what you have to do you have to put a gradient i'm gonna choose this gradient this one and make it like that and uh, make it like that and boom you got a really nice text now so after when you're done with this what you have to do is you have to whenever you feel okay with the like it is looking good what you have to do is you have to hit okay and after that i'm gonna again select uh, first word and uh, after selecting it you have to do is you just have to click on this and plus and layer from section and get to the bottom layer and click this and this like now when you're done with this you have both uh, in different different layers both were in different different layers so this make a job really really easy so now what you have to do is you just have to get to the bottom layer and make an empty layer and after go into gradient and select whatever color you want to select i'm going to choose blue color and make sure you this part is transparent and the uh, second part whatever color you want as you guys can see so i'm going to choose blue and you have to put it something like that that looks really, really nice and hit ok it's gonna look something like that make an empty layer thing and you have to select this one wait what happened okay i have to do that again make sure you select your text and put a stroke as well so i just put black stroke and just like that and after that when you done with this what you have to do is you just have to put a drop shadow and make sure this is zero blur is whatever you feel nice i'm gonna put 20 and hit ok it's gonna be like that and after that when you're done with this you have to get to the bottom here and select this sort of tutorial word as well so now i'm gonna put a gradient so now make sure you this one 
is going to be color that is going to be your background color and make sure you put a uh, stroke as well and of course drop shadow so it is looking really really nice and after that what you have to do is you have to make an empty layer and stack this uh, gradient this is my probably the favorite gradient so after that when you have to do that you just have to make it really, really big and put it right up there let me make it a bit smaller and now you can put it right up here and it is gonna look really, really nice and boom it is looking really really nice and let me just make it more rich. now it's looking amazing cool whatever you wanna say now what you have to do is you just have to merge both text layers and you can transfer them as you want I'm gonna make it like this now it is looking really really better uh, my way and hit it ok and now what you have to do is you just have to make a duplicate layer of your background and they're going to transfer and make it way 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 much bigger and something like that you have to make it bigger and bigger so after that what you have to do is hit ok make it something like that and hit ok and after that uh, decrease the opacity to 32 or 30 uh, if you see good you can put it on more down and more as well so that is the uh, preference your preference and after that you have to do make an empty and stack the whole damn thing with a rectangular tool and put a stroke of white color and you can put like i mean uh, don't put too much uh, i'll look when you put in 20 to 30 in between them and after i put it on overlay is very very nice and it make boundary to your thumbnail and it look really really nice after that whatever you have to do is make a duplicate of your text again and that's the bottom one you don't have to transfer them this time what you have to do is you have to put direction blur and make it full at 100 and um, it's gonna look something like that and it looks really, really nice and whatever you have to do after that is you need to get it to a photo layer and i will leave a link of this thing as well in the description let's take this picture make it bigger as you can make it big 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 something like that and hit ok after i put it on you can put it on overlay you can put it on anywhere but i will recommend you putting on light or screen so when you're done with this you can lower the opacity of that as well drag it down on this really, really nice and uh, it already thumbnail is looking super cool and very really, very really nice but if you want to add something more uh, you can add it it's all depends on you so whatever you have to do is i'm gonna do it is i'm gonna I'll, I'll just find here okay uh, i just merge both a uh, text layer at that time and i'm just trying to like remember what to add more <laughs> so when you're done with this you, i'm gonna make it text with both bigger and after that i'm gonna put a light uh, gradient again now this time more focus to the center and bit small and uh, it's gonna look it is gonna make like light is coming from middle so that make a really really nice look is looking really, really nice after that what you have to do you can if you are making it on android if you are making it on ios make sure you put android or ios uh, up there and uh, i'm gonna do the same like mirrored so you can select any phone that you like and you can make it be made as well so like i'm just gonna make it quickly to show you guys the easy way to make it so then you just set it something like over here and after then you set it up there you have to select it and go to and make it like that and after when you're done with this what you have to do is you just have to make an empty layer drag it down and gradient and select the color that you are working with and when you're done with this when you're done with this it's gonna look something like that and after i make sure to dislike that and merge both layers down and it's gonna be really nice and after i make a drop shadow put it like 11 make sure distance is zero put it like thrice and it is gonna look really really nice and pretty much your thumbnail is ready set to go and if you need to add you can add whatever you want i'm gonna add some effect and it is cold but i don't know what it's cold and i just have them it is mostly used by minecraft graphic designer they use it as I put it in eyes of minecraft render and their sword and all that stuff so i'm gonna use the blue one right up there and i'm gonna leave all everything link in the description i will leave a link of this whole damn um thumbnail in psdx as well so you guys can 
freely edit it and uh, you can like change the color and all that stuff as well so i just put it right up here it is looking very really, very really nice and you can go into like color layer and go into color balance and you can change the color as you wish to change and as you can change it anywhere like i'm gonna leave this file in PSVX so you guys can do that editing in android but you have to make text yourself so i mean yeah but that's it for this video i guess I, I hope you guys like it and enjoy it and you get like idea of how to make an uh, awesome thumbnails and uh, make your own digital size you can take whatever you want you can like add anything to this and feel free to make your own self a new thumbnail that looks sick and um, yeah that's all i guess this is the uh, one more uh, uh, like for you guys you can see that you can like i put like here in kind master as well like i put like got that so bye peace out